Some North Texas federal workers are braving the bitter cold while giving back this morning. More than a dozen furloughed staffers from the EPA's Dallas Regional Office are cleaning up at the Rowlett Nature Trail on Miller Road. They told us they wanted to do something positive and productive while they aren't getting paid during the partial government shutdown. And that shutdown now into its second month, and it shows no signs of ending anytime soon. As Nicole Killian reports, both sides are pushing ahead with plans that the other refuses to support. The Senate is prepared to vote tomorrow on two separate bills to reopen the government. The opportunity to end all this is staring us right in the face. That's why we'll vote on this legislation on the Senate floor this week. One is built around President Trump's proposal to get $5.7 billion for a border wall in exchange for temporary protections for immigrants brought to the U.S. as children. The other is a bill House Democrats passed to fund the government through February 8th without money for the wall. It will allow us to then debate without hostage taking, without temper tantrum, without anything, how we can best do border security. Neither bill is expected to pass, and neither side is showing any signs it's willing to compromise to end the 33 day partial government shutdown. 71% of Americans in the latest CBS News poll say the border wall is not worth a government shutdown. Remind each senator of the words of Jesus of Nazareth. In Luke 10 7, those who work deserve their pay. The CBS News poll shows 65% of Republicans say President Trump should not sign any budget that doesn't include wall funding, while 69% of Democrats say Congress should refuse to fund the wall. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House.